Okay, welcome to the second part of Lab Workshop 4B. So we've created our database, we have our tables and our forms, and we've input uh, data. So now we need to get data out of our database. So we do that by creating queries. So the first query I want to create is just the summary of the visits that we have in our database. So I'll go create. In the Create tab at the top, I'll go to Query Design. And the information I want in my query, I want to see the patient's name, the visit date, the services they received, and the price. So patient name is in the patient table, so I'll add it. Uh, the, the date is in the visit table, so I'll add that. The services are in the service descriptions are in the service table so I'll add that and the price is also in the service table however I have a problem because I don't have uh, any connections between the visit table and the service table so I won't be able to link those two without also including the visit service table so I'll have to add it to my query as well so I'll close this show table box I'll rearrange everything here. And to create my query, I can drag and drop. So I want patient first name. I can also just double click up in the where the table is shown here. And if I double click, it'll go in the next column. So I'll just double click on last name. So it appears in the next column. So there's my patient name. I said I want my visit date. I want the service description and I want the price. So I've created the query that I want. So let's see the results. So I'll go to data sheet view and this shows me a list of all the patients that have made visits, uh, the date they visited, the service they were provided and the price. So that looks like what I want. I'll close this query, save changes, yes, and give it a name. So this is summary of visits. Say OK. Now we created that query, but if I want a report, if I want a printable report, I can create a report from that query. So I'm going to go to the Create tab again and the Report Wizard. So I can do reports based on any of my tables or queries. So I'll pick my query, Summary of Visits. These are the available fields. I'll bring them all over with the double arrow. I'll say Next. So how do I want to view my data? So right now it's showing by patient first, then visit date, and then service and price. So if I say I want it by visit, that will be a little more compact as far as the report that I get. So I'll get the visit date up there with the patient name. And you just have to play around really, really with these reports to uh, get what you want. Um, I don't want to add any grouping levels, so I'll say Next. I don't need a sort order, but I do want a summary option. Um, I want a summary of the I want to add up the prices, so I want to know how much revenue we brought in for each visit and then a grand total. So in summary options, Access knows that the only field in my query that it can do math with is the price, which, because that was a currency data type. Everything else that's in there uh, is really just a text field. So it's suggesting service price here. I want some and I want detail and summary. So I'll say OK. So that's under this Summary Options button. I'll say Next. I'm going to pick an outline layout in this case. And I'll say Next. And the title, so the title of my report is Summary of Visits. And I want to preview it. So I'll say Finish. So it comes up, and this is my print preview. 
So I've got the patient name, the visit date, uh, the each of the services that was provided, and then this box that says summary of patient first name equals Alex, um, and then a total. So I can't make any changes in print preview. I'll close my print preview. I'll go to layout view. And in layout view, I can sort of highlight this summary detail here, and I'll just delete that. I don't really want to see that. So I look down, and this is a list of all my different visits, where two services were being provided. It does give me a total, so it's doing what I want. I get down to the very end. I have a grand total here. Um, I'll just put a little bit of space between the last patient and that grand total. So I'll, I'll show the grand total heading here, hold down the shift key, uh, pick the, the, the data box there, and then with my little down arrows, I can just sort of move that down. So at the very bottom, I have a grand total. So in, the to in, in all of these visits that we had put in there, my grand total is $194. So my report looks good as far as printing out the results of my query. I will close it. Save changes. Yes. OK, so now I want to do a couple of additional queries. So the next query, I want to show all patients who live in Welland, sorted alphabetically by patient last name. So this may be uh, Dr. Garrett is taking part in a conference in Welland, and he just wants to send an email to all of his patients, uh, inviting them to attend uh, his speech at this conference. So we will create a query again, so query design. So I want information from the patient table. And that's really where everything is. I want the, to know the patient, what city they live in, and their email. So I'll close that. So I just have the patient. So my query, I want to see first name, last name, email, and then the city. So. I really just want to see patients who are who live in Welland. So I'm going to put a criteria with my query. We, we've been doing queries, simple queries, but we notice that there's a few things we can do here. We can sort by any of these fields. We Everything by default that we've added is shown with the checkbox to show it, but we can actually not show it. Um, and then there's a criteria row here. So in this case, I, case, if I look at the results of this query at the moment, view, data sheet view, I've got a list of all of my patients. If I go back to design view, now I'm going to do a couple of things. I'm going to say I want it to equal, I want the patient city to equal Welland. So if I type that in and say enter, Access will put quotation marks around the word Welland, but it guesses what I need, what I'm looking for. So now I'll go to the view, data sheet view. So now it's giving me just the patients in Welland. I can go back to design view and I can say, well, now that I know it's just the patients in Welland, I don't even need to see that. I just want a list of their, the patient's name and their email addresses. So I'll unclick the Show button. I'll view Data Sheet View. And I can see the patient first name, patient last name, and their email. So this would be my list to send out my emails to invite them to my presentation. So we will close this query, save changes, yes. So this is uh, patients in Welland.
So that's an example of using a criteria. Our next query is we want to show, uh, show visits since November 11th, and we want to see the patient name and the service. So I'm going to create a query, so query design again. So visit since November 11th. So the date is in the visit table, so I'll add the visit table. I want to see patient name, so that's in the patient table. And I want to see the service they received, so that's in the service table. Again, I have no connection with the, for, to the service table except through the visit service table, so I'm going to have to add it as well. Close the show table. I'll rearrange everything here so it makes a little more sense. So I want the visit date, and then I want to see the patient name, so last name, and the service they received. So if I look at my data sheet view, there's all of the visits that I have and the patients and the service they receive. But I said I wanted to do, add another criteria here. I'll go back to design view. I want only the visits since November 11th, so starting with November 12th. So in the criteria here, I can say greater than November 11th. So again, Access is going to try and guess what I really want here. If I say enter, it adds a little bit of code there, some hash marks, and it changes the date around. But I can go to my data sheet view and see that it has picked out. It's picked out the three visits that we had that were, that were after November 11th. So that's good. So I will close this query. Save changes, yes, and this is visits since November 11. Okay. Now the last query I'm going to do, I want to create a query to show the services that have been provided by employee. I want to sort this query alphabetically by employee. So I'm going to create a query, so go to query design again. So I want the employee table, so I'll add it because I need the, to get the employee's name. I want the visit date, so I'll add the visit table. I want the service, so I'll add the service table and the price. So the price is in the service table. But again, none of these tables in this case are connected without the visit service table, so I'll add it close. So I've got the service here, the visit, the employee, all connected. So I want to see employee first name, employee last name, and then the visit date. So the visit date, the service that was provided, so service description and service price. Let's go look what our query looks like in data sheet view. So, okay, we've got it all here. Uh, it seems to be sorted by visit date at the moment. So we can change that. We can sort by, and we wanted to sort it by alphabetically by employee. So we'll go back, but we seem to have everything there. Back to design view. So we want to sort by employee last name. So we'll say ascending there. Now we can view, data sheet view again. So we start with Brotman, then French, then Garrett, then Langer. So that looks like what we want. We will close this. Save changes, yes. So this is um, 
services by employee. Now I'm going to do another report because I want to print out a report that shows the results of that query. So create, I'll use the report wizard. I'll, for that, I'll pick my query is services by employee. I'll bring everything over. I'll say next. I want to see it by employee. So that looks good. Um, that grouping, I don't need any grouping. I do want summary options again. So I want a sum by price. So I'll say OK. And next, I will do outline view again. I'll say next. So this is services by employee. And I will preview the report. So here it is. So I can see, uh, so the first employee is Brian Garrett. Uh, summary details there. We've got the revenue that he's brought in. Uh, the same with Lois French has just sold one product. Robert Langer has done one massage. Uh, and Sarah Brotman. So this looks good. I'll close the print preview. I'll open up layout view again. Um, and I can get rid of this little detail box here about the summary. So everything looks good on that report. Again, I'll move the grand total down just a bit so it's got a little bit of separation from that last employee there. So in total, we have sold $194 worth of services and products. And we can tell how much each employee has brought into the clinic's revenues. So I'll close this report and save the changes. And that's the end of our workshop on databases.